Let's go take care of some mites. Remember, I had the problem with Libby a few weeks ago with all the mites, and it's time to check everyone out in that coop again to see how it's doing. After many years of trial and error and trying a lot of different things, this is my new system, and I think it's extremely efficient for mites. So come on, come along with me. Let's go check this out. All right, the tools I'm gonna use, my headlamp, because the key to this whole system is the chickens need to be on their roost and it needs to be dark. Gloves, because who wants to touch nasty chicken bottoms? And then I've got some poultry dust. You can also switch this out with some other mite things that work so that the mites don't get used to it or immune or whatever that word is. And then I also use one of these masks. I don't like to breathe that stuff in. I've had bad experiences with it. So let's go. Okay, here we go. So the reason we're coming out here at night is these guys are all in their roost. It's dark, they're relaxed, they're quiet. So it's so much easier to work with them like this without trying to chase them all down. So you can see they're all on their roost, just kind of chilling out. And if we're lucky, we'll see bottoms facing us, which makes it a lot easier. So all I'm gonna do is go in here with my headlamp and check for those nasty crawly mites. And I don't see any on there, so we're good. <laughs> Should have brought my reading glasses so I can see better. So I'm gonna go through and check every one of these chickens like this. So far, I'm not seeing any mites, which is great. But hopefully I won't find any mites. But what I'm gonna show you is the easy way to do this with this ketchup bottle. And I just put this stuff in there. And this way I can do this all by myself. And all you do is just squirt some of that with the ketchup bottle, fluff it around their vent area if they have mites. Now, if I was seeing mites on one of these hens, I would also put it under their wings too. But um, this enables just one person to do this job, which makes it much easier. So what I'm looking for when I'm doing this is this headlamp, you can see little tiny, it looks like little black or red, not red, these are usually just those black mites, but little dots kind of crawling around their vent area is what you're looking at. This rooster, man, he hurts. <laughs> Ouch. He just nail you? Yes. He's mean. Um, so probably having the light, he's pecking everybody. But um, you can see the little black dots, and I'm not really seeing mites on these girls, which is great. I'm glad to hear it, or see it. Libby and Limpy are clear in the back, so they're going to make it difficult. I have to try to dig them out of there to get them, but... Okay, so everybody looks really good. I saw one mite in there, which is more than I'd like to see, but that is a great improvement over years past when I used to have mites really bad all winter long. So just a little maintenance throughout the year. Um, this is actually the first time I've even, well, maybe the second time I've checked them this winter, but just doing this every couple weeks or a month can really help keep those mites in check. So thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you the next time.